welcome back to If Only April, the place where we don't have excuses and we just, we don't say if only this or if only that, if only I could have time or blah, 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 blah. We just simply start and do it. So yes, this is my uh, do-it-yourself channel and I'm so happy that you're here. Today, we're gonna do something absolutely amazing. I mean, as always, right? It is gonna be home decor inspired by anthropology store. You all know anthropology, you know, like I absolutely love their stuff, but you know, like the price tag, I don't like it that much. So today I'm gonna to challenge myself. I'm gonna take a home decor from anthropology that costs about like hundred dollars each and make it for under 10 bucks. Are you intrigued? Let's do it. So today we will be making a few things. This absolutely gorgeous decorative letter, this macrame wall hanging and this adorable Checkatory board. It, does it say? Do, do you say checkatory board? Checkatory. This adorable cutting board. And also as a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to make a candle to repel mosquitoes. Because, let's face it, there's tons of them. Let's get started. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. Also follow follow my journey on uh, Instagram where I post the stories, you know, like all behind the scenes and uh, everything what's going on on, uh, on my channel. To make this project, you'll need to cut six ropes, 12 feet each. My macrame plant hanging was in total about three feet, but if you want to make it longer or shorter, you need to adjust accordingly. So first you need to make a loop knot. It's so much easier than it, it seems it is. And yeah, just like make sure to drag this, the remaining cord through that loop and tie it, just like that. Try to cut it very carefully and not to cut your cords, the long ones that you're gonna be using for the, for the planter. And then you need to divide your ropes in three parts and, ma and make a square knots on each of them. At first I wanted to do four parts, but then I decided that three probably would be enough and uh, it's going to be a bit different. Uh, but this is not the exact macrame plant hanging, you know, like that I saw in uh, anthropology. But it's kind of my version, which is probably better. I mean, it looks pretty good. <laughs> So uh, when you're done with these three ropes, you need to skip about eight inches. I didn't have my ruler with me, so I used the scissors to to stay consistent with the with the spacing, and I did the half square uh, knot, which makes this like very very beautiful spiral. It's such a therapeutic process, I, I think you should definitely try it. When those are ready, you need to make a half square knot again. You should skip around four inches this time. For me, it was half of my scissors and do again the half square knot for about three, four inches. Measure your planter and make square knots in the middle. I just put my planter one on each side, but you need to take ropes from different sides. Then measure your pot, how snugly fit it is, and uh, make loop knot in the end. And uh, this is pretty much it.
So as you can see, I'm back into my garage and uh, it's kind of messy because I'm working on my big project that's gonna come up hopefully next week. But uh, yes, let's get to, let's get continue with this, uh, this project. So you need to mark a center on both boards to make eventually holes in them and the spacing between dowels is about 13 inches and uh, it's super important to make it even so it, it's not crooked and uh, your letter in the end not gonna be wobbly wobbly. Make sure that it's the same. Like put the both planks together, clamp it down and then mark the middle. When you're done with that, you should uh, take a scrap wood and practice with your drill bit how deep you need it to go so it doesn't show on the other side. Then you go ahead and make the holes on the board. If you have a drill press, that would be perfect for the job. But um, this uh, drill bit work works just fine. Do you remember, by the way, the baby gym that I made? Let me tell you something. I wish I used the same drill bit instead of that terrible <laughs> terrible experiment that I had with making holes so this this bit is very pain, painless and uh, super easy to do then you go ahead and glue your dowels together in both sides okay so at this moment it would have been very very nice to have a lot of white clamps which I don't have so if you're thinking about my birthday present you know what to get me I think I'm just gonna use the nail gun to bond it and then I'm gonna cover the nail with the wood filler attach bread nails this is not necessary but I felt that I wanted to make sure since I don't have clamps I wanted to make sure that the glue gonna bond very well with the wood and uh, it's not gonna be wobbly or anything and uh, you know uh, the bread nails didn't even show on the outside Ouch. and this is why i don't like to work in the garage in the evening because i just get attacked by mosquitoes but we're almost done so Let's just wait for it to dry and then we're gonna send it and we're gonna paint it over. Stay with me for a second. So now it came time to stain it and then we're gonna paint it. So uh, as of late I started to like uh, to precondition wood before I stain it. So we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna stain it in a natural, natural stain and uh, see what's gonna happen. Okay, we need to wait till the stain dries because uh, this uh, the tape doesn't stick. Another project that I wanted to show you this week, it's uh, this cool checkettery, uh, I never know how to say that word, uh, but this is this board, I mean, let's call it like a cutting board that looks so pretty, you know, like, and it's all amazing for serving cheeses and uh, uh, fruits, you know, like, and nuts and make this like a cheese board, you know, like for the parties, which I absolutely love to do, it's actually my favorite thing. So. Today I wanted to show you how to make one uh, from like using just one plank and uh, we're gonna make it very simple, very minimalist and uh, super beautiful. So I decided to use a poplar. I know that maple or dark walnut is so much better for those kind of boards because it's not very porous but poplar is also 
kind of an option. So I'm just gonna go with it because I don't have any walnut on me and uh, yes, let's get going. Finally, I found a pencil. Is it, does it take you also like hours to find a pencil in the garage? It's crazy. I think I need to come up with some good solution about it because this is just ridiculous. I'm gonna cut with my miter saw over here. Then I'm gonna use my scroll saw to do the rest. So instead of miter saw, I tried to do it with a circle saw and see if I could get that wave around, but it did not work, so don't try it. Okay, so here's the thing, my scroll saw idea didn't work because the board is so tall that it's hanging out from the table and it's very, very uncomfortable to um, to do it. So I decided to make this round curve with my new router instead. So yes, uh, let's see how it's gonna go. Oops, that didn't go as planned. Check it out. Well, 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 we're gonna fix it somehow. Okay, so much better. Check it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sand the edge very well, and uh, yeah, it's so much better than they were before. And so, here's the thing that you need to understand: that when you go into DIY, mistakes always gonna happen, and something always gonna go wrong. But you should always find a solution out of it, and yeah, don't be discouraged. So I sanded the one side and you, you can already see how much better it looks. So it's quite smooth. I'm gonna work on more sanding, but now the most important thing, I need to make that hole for the handle. And um, kind of thinking that this is gonna be a bit uh, difficult, but we're not scared, right? Let's do it. Check it out. I think the second time is so much better. So practice really makes it perfect. Maybe not perfect, but definitely better. I just finished sanding it and especially sanding the inside of the of the handles. That was a bit tricky, but um, what I did, I used this, um, used this rounds, you know, like I just like went inside to smooth the surface. Now I wiped it off with a damp cloth and I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then we're gonna put some mineral oil on it and it's gonna be ready. First, you need to put dry wax flakes to the jar. Make sure to cover the top and put some extra to it because the, when the wax melts, it uh, becomes so much less than uh, the dry version. The best way to attach wick is to wrap them around some sticks or like a pencil and uh, yeah, make sure that it's securely staying where it is. When you're gonna pour the wax, make sure to wear gloves because it's super hot and uh, you should be very careful when working with the hot materials. That's super easy! And the best part, you can recycle so many jars and so many glasses. It's, I think it looks pretty awesome. And the best part, it's get the job done! And this little candle is probably my favorite because look at this cute little label that I made with this mosquitoes, you know, like, and it also says Trinella Repulse Insects Soy Wax Blend. If you like this label, you can download it from my website. I have it for free. I'm gonna leave you the link below. And um, yes, isn't it an amazing gift for anyone? I mean, come on, like, imagine like giving it to your friends who has a patio and you know, like, and have tons of mosquitoes right now. I bet they're gonna love you. 
so much for watching guys I mean I really hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, please let me know like what other home decor projects would you like me to do let me know in the comments what would you like to see uh, and uh, yeah and I'm I'm gonna try to make it happen and, uh, please stay tuned next week again I have some like huge project coming up and uh, yeah I would love to see you all guys there so uh, subscribe if you're new uh, to be notified about my new videos and um, till next week I'll see you then